Here's a little behind the scenes from a shoot that I did with Ollie. I knew I wanted to create some pretty simple portraits and knew exactly what I wanted to create from these images. So I was just using a plain backdrop, a stool, a softbox on window for light and then also a cardigan for Ollie to wear. And I'm not a makeup artist but I did do a little bit more makeup on Ollie just so that this showed up in the photographs. So just starting up, I'm just putting eyeshadow across Ollie's eye. I'm choosing a pretty neutral colour and then I'm also going to go in with a slightly darker shade as well just to add even more definition to her eyes. And then all I've done is just added a little bit of lip liner and also lipstick. I also wanted Ollie's hair to look pretty messy so here's a bit of a failed attempt of backcombing it. As you can see, for the purpose of these photographs, it looks like Ollie is just wearing a cardigan, which I'm arranging to fall off her shoulder and then also fall down from the chair to look all slouchy and comfy, which I can confirm that the stool is definitely not comfy. So I've got Ollie facing away from the light where I've got the softbox to light her face mostly and then the window giving a more ambient light. And I've shut the curtains down the other end of the room so then this creates shadows down the left of her face, which adds more definition. So I'm fully directing Ollie in what I want her to do. I'm experimenting with different legs up, arm placements and things like that and then I'm always turning her head back into the light. I'm shooting all the way from the other room just because I'm using a 50mm prime lens and I want to fit all of her in the frame. As for the backdrop, I actually had a different backdrop on order from Amazon but Amazon Prime didn't deliver when I was in the house but that's another story. So I just used this plain paper one which then later on in post production I will probably completely desaturate and then also add like a texture onto it, similar to the one that I ordered. So I'm also experimenting with slightly closer up shots where it's just kind of head and shoulders as well. So I have three final images for this set. I have obviously changed the background and then changed the colours slightly so that it adds more of a moody feel to the images. If you want to see more of my photography, please visit Rachel Pendlebury Photography on Instagram and I am sure I will upload more to this channel as well.